Hi Libras, this is Mary. Welcome to my channel. This is Mystic Wisdom Tarot. And happy birthday to all of you. I'm so happy to be in Libra season. One of my favorites because I'm a Scorpio leading up to my birthday. But my Libras, this is about you. Let's find out. We're going to bring out the energy oracles and we're going to look at love and life path and whatever spirit guides messages are for the collective Libra. Angels and guides, this message is for Libra, collective. What are their four energies? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Only white light, bright light on my channel. What are the four energies they need to know for the month of October in love and life path? Woo, right off the bat. Angel of love comes out with the man, the thinking man. Somebody, some man is thinking about love. And we have the yen and the yang. This person is in balance, or you are. Take it how it resonates. A little candle here. And I will bring up the card so you can see them. Let's get one more, and then we're going to clarify with the tarot. Cairo Manchetti's Grand Luck. One more for my beautiful Libras, please. Spirit guides and angels, angels of love. What do they need to know for this month? Action. So this man is thinking of love and in balance, where there's that yin and the yang, the dark horse and the light horse, coming into balance, knowing who you are and what you want. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to get the tarot cards. Spirit guides, what do you have for my Libras? Angel of love. Angel of love. What do they need to know about love? Then we're going to look at the action, of course. So take it out resonates if it is about love or life path. Whatever spirit wants you to know. Four of cups. I'm sorry, five of cups. Know your worth and know your value, my beautiful ones. This is crying over spilled milk. This is saying, oh, am I too fat? Am I, you know, not the right age? What about this? What about... No, be here now. Be grateful that you're alive and well. Contemplating lost love. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the man is thinking. Ace of Pentacles, wanting a fresh start, wanting a foundation, wanting a solid relationship. I'm going to get some advice from Spirit Guides on how to manifest that and come out of the Five of Cups. It's just, we all have those ups and downs, the yin and the yang. And then we just came out of that Pisces full moon. Wow, you guys. Your intuition is keen. You know, you may have some fear about love. But I feel it's your birthday season. You're going to shed some light on some things that had been hidden. Let's see. We'll find out what that might be. Yen and the Yang, the action card. Ooh, this one really wanted to come out. Four of Swords. See, rest and meditation. This full moon is making us exhausted. Very good time to contemplate, relax, rest. A new way of doing work that isn't so hard. I think you're going to like get a dream journal and start writing some things down. You're going to get some clarity. We're going to get four more cards and we're going to clarify with it right away. Yeah. You will get messages and downloads from the universe in your meditations, in those quiet times, in those times that you wake up and journal. So pay attention to the synchronicities and the signs that are out there for you. You could be hearing from somebody that's under the angel of love, someone from the past that you want to hear from, that wants to bring in some passion. Knight of Wands. That could be somebody, now you beware, somebody from the past could be riding their horse in quick and being very passionate, but may ride out just as quick. But with the Ace of Pentacles on the top, it could also be a solid foundation in the future with a lot of passion. So, take it how it resonates, right? 
the double reversed on the bottom. So this person from the past that may be coming back because of the Mercury retrograde could also be coming out of that devil energy. Tell me about the moon. What are our fears, hopes? What is it that is hidden that will come to light? Competition. Preparing for this as well. You know, these are people like competition in sports and that type of thing. So it's preparing for this new love, I feel, is the theme of your reading. Be that queen of wands. Know your truth and value. Stand in your power. Don't give your power away. Why do we have the Four of Swords? What's under the Four of Swords? Page of Cups keeps coming out on in every reading and even private readings. It's really finding a new way, being more childlike, having more fun, being more playful, and a new love. I think you're going to receive some messages in meditation that's going to really help you to bring this in. The Ten of Cups, wishes fulfilled. Happiness after difficulty. Beautiful. All right, let's grab the little right away and see why are we having the Five of Cups here and how can we overcome this, this hurt and heartache from the past. When we have those Two of Cups standing right there, which I see, look up. The angel of love is right above you. If you're in a funk, get outside and get in the sun. Walk in nature with that eight of wands underneath. Spirit guides and angels. Yeah, there. Talk about getting out and walking in the sun. We have the nine of pentacles clarifying the five of cups. You have everything. You are successful. Get outside. Grow your talents and abilities. You may be tired of being single, I'm hearing. So it's like you need to get out a little bit more. What do we have the Eight of Wands? Ah, King of Pentacles. You might be hearing from a oh, Earth sign. Mm-hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in fast. That could be that Knight of Wands with a passion, with the Ace of pentacles here. So let's clarify the ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Spirit guides, what do you have? I don't know. Hold on. One more shuffle. Ace of pentacles. A new start. A new beginning. An offer from the universe. Something stable and strong. Ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, Spirit Guides and Angels. Huh. Eight of Wands. So some you are getting a message and an offer. Somebody is coming back from the past, but these are also Cupid's arrows. You know, Venus is in Scorpio. Go and dive in a little deeper into a relationship, getting to know somebody more intimately. Hmm. Which I mean spiritually. And what is the connection? Grow the connection. Ace, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands. We're going to clarify the Knight of Wands. Ooh, this guy coming in. Ooh, he wants to come into union with you. Three of Cups. Excellent. Celebration, fun, passion. Somebody from your community, you could be meeting them when you go out. So get out. Why do we have the moon here for Libra? The moon. Hopes and fears. Queen of Pentacles shows up again. Now we have the power couple. Don't have any fear about somebody from the past. You know, trust and verify. See if they've grown. See where they're at. Ask those questions maybe you were afraid to ask before. But I see this as a collaboration and a beautiful couple coming together. A lot of aces here. Tell us about the Five of Wands. Feeling like it might not work and they won't let you in, but this is in reverse. So the Five of Wands, there's no competition, Libra. 
There's no competition. You're so unique, you're so beautiful. If this person is into you, they're gonna let you know. So try it again. Because they're gonna come in with love. And you need to be open if this is what you want to receive. You're gonna know in your meditations. And then it's gonna bring in the Ace of Cups. This knight in shining armor is holding the Ace of Cups for you. You're the one, you always have been. They dream about you, they think about you. With that knight sleeping there, they wanna take action, it's under the action card. I'm very curious about this page of cups that comes out all the time. For Libra, why do we have the page of cups? What is the meaning for them? Page of wands, a new beginning, a new spark of love, a tender love. Somebody wants to message you and let you know. They may be coming from a distance. The chariot card comes out, victory, success. Moving away from home, this person may be at a distance. So that's what I get there. Oh, and I showed you that on the bottom of the deck here was the 10 of cups. This could be your happily ever after. So don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I know that's an old saying. It comes from when people didn't have a whole lot of water and they had to go to the well. So dad got the bath, then the mom, then the kids, and then the baby was at the end and the water was so dirty, sometimes they'd throw the baby out with the bath water. Sorry guys. I'm in beautiful Puerto Vallarta watching all the parasailers. <laughs> so cool here. All right, love oracle for Libra and happy birthday to all of you. Send you all my love and light every time you watch my videos. See my crystals or hear my voice. <gasps> one bell, I gotta get another one. Okay. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. That's that moon. Come out of that. Trust yourself. Experience life. You know, experience failure. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. One more. Now we're gonna get the pining card, so stay tuned because we're gonna see how this person really feels about you right now. I think they're gonna reach out to you soon for a new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live dreams passionately. Take the action towards your dreams and your goals, my beautiful one. This is a new beginning. Beautiful. So think of the person that's on your mind or that is coming in. Who's coming in for Libra in October 2021? And how do they feel about Libra? How does this person feel about Libra, the one on their mind? Thank you for liking and subscribing, you guys. I really appreciate you. If you want a private reading, just email me, mysticwisdomtarot, gmail.com, link in below. Reading start at $24. All about you and your person or persons. How does this person feel about Libra, spirit guides and angels? Uriel, Ariel, angel of love. Bring us the messages. Thank you. Hmm. See a rekindling of something. Yeah, nostalgia. Let me show you the cards. True love. You guys have so much in common. There's nothing to fear but fear itself and the devil. The moon is illusions, delusions. And if we didn't have the mystery, life would be boring if we knew all the answers. So jump into the mystery. Celebrate the nostalgia, the music the things you do have in common, and dive deeper into this true love that's coming your way, Libra. I wish you all the best in love and life. Every time you watch my channel, I send you healing crystal energies. Namaste.